For someone who is not in the military, our family has moved a lot. Since I arrived in the USA fresh-faced and 50 pounds lighter in 1982, we have moved uh, 11 times by my count, including our latest move last weekend. We have lived in a couple of rooms with my mother-in-law, bless her soul, and in apartments, condos and houses over a fairly large swath of the state of Ohio. Cleveland, where we started out, is on the northeastern part of the state, and we have slowly and inexorably moved in a generally clockwise direction until we reached our current location in Champaign County. The odd thing is, my wife and I don't like the process of moving, like at all. Excitement may have washed over us for the first couple of moves as we started out on our newlywed journey into the big wide adult world, but after that it's kind of a pain to be honest. Indeed, moving home is usually listed as the third most stressful event for most of us, at least in the Western world, after the death of a loved one or a divorce. So why on earth did we put ourselves through that so often? Well, on a few occasions it would be because our, the living conditions changed such that we pretty much had to move. Two examples that stick out are, after we had our first child, the apartment complex we lived in informed us that no infants were allowed, which was news to us, and is probably not something that would even happen today, but we had to leave. The other was when I was laid off out of the blue, and we lost our condo that we lived in at the time. Most of the other moves were essentially due to me finding a better job in another area. So you could say we have been chasing my jobs around Ohio for the past 40 years. That actually makes me feel like a bit of a heel, but other than the process of moving, it's been interesting to experience different areas and communities. We have not lived in any other states, but Ohio is big enough to give a bit of variety between north, south, east, and west. I have a couple of takeaways from my experience that I can pass on to any of you that are anticipating a forthcoming move. Number one, it'll be okay. It can be stressful, as I mentioned, but you'll get through it. We have done it almost a dozen times and nothing horrible has happened. Two, keep a to-do list. Make notes about turning on and off services, bills that may be incurred, and so on. It can be a paper list or on your phone or whatever, but it does help you keep track of stuff that's going on. It really helped me to check items off along the way. It helped me feel like I was actually getting through the whole mess. I've also put some links in the video description below with prepared checklists that might be useful. 3. If you are buying or selling a property, you don't have to stick with the first real estate agent you approach. If your initial impression is poor, i.e. they don't get you or they seem too busy or preoccupied, you can and should look elsewhere. Word of mouth is probably your friend here. 4. In the USA, if you are moving to another state, do a little research first. There can be considerable differences in things like taxes, vehicle registration processes, and even things like speed limits. The few times we have visited other states, it can seem like a mini culture shock. Something that's just quirky during a visit, but might grate on you after a few months. Mind you, I emigrated here from Scotland, so I think I'm largely inoculated against culture shock myself. So, we are settling down in our twilight years in a small rural town in a small rural county in the western side of central Ohio. We are out of the snow belt in the north and away from the major cities. Life is good. Hey, thanks for watching and uh, check out the links below.